I'm super happy with what I'm learning during my internship and uh, yeah, also the people that I think also network is a really big part of your internship, um, which you will take with you for the rest of your career. So I hope, uh, yeah, I know this has definitely been super helpful for me. I'm Carolina Pereira Margidon. Uh, I'm a second year master's student at ITC and I'm doing my internship with the Red Cross Red Crescent Climate Center, which is a virtual team, but we also have an office space at the Dutch Red Cross uh, in The Hague, so that's where we are today. I'm John Ifejube. I'm right now doing my internship with 510, an initiative of the Netherlands Red Cross. I'm working on the risk assessment of cholera in Cameroon. In our studies, doing an internship is part of our study program. My internship is about urban heat risks. Extreme heat is rising around the globe and the Climate Center basically is supporting global and local action around heat risk. So yeah, through various projects I'm supporting them with that. 510 is a subsidiary firm for the Netherlands Red Cross. So it is uh, the data department. It works on converting data into useful products for humanitarian services. So I'm working in the urban team, which is one of the multiple teams in the Climate Center. And our projects relate to everything that an urban space is dealing with. So my team is around eight members or so. And this includes um, researchers and practitioners that are located around the globe. So I have a few team members uh, in the US, one based in India and in Africa, and me and another team member are in Europe. In my early weeks, I started by doing a lot of literature reviews. After doing that, it's important for me to normalize this data set so I can actually make an equation to compare the indicators as well as the impact. And for what I get, then I can try to make a risk index to explain which areas are more prone to the various dimensions of uh, cholera infections. Yeah, so it's very interesting to see how a virtual team is able to, to operate. Um, it gives me a lot of flexibility in my work because I can work either from home or from my university uh, or from here, the Dutch Red Cross office. When you identify these factors, then you can immediately use some of them to predict the incidence of cholera in at the future. Then you can also prepare and then uh, you can uh, uh, really reduce the risk. We really get a lot of guidance and help in finding the right internship. First, it's really up to you to reach out and find any organization that you like. But sometimes if you're struggling to find anything, we uh, of course have an internship coordinator who really helps us with more organizations that we might not know of. She also sends us through vacancies that come up at organizations that ITC either has partnership with or that she knows might be of interest to us. So we really do get a lot of help, which makes it just a way easier process and kind of ensures that everybody finds an internship that they are happy with. I did my thesis already uh, in collaboration with the Climate Center and so I found out really I'm, I would be very interested to work with them and I just brought it up in a few conversations that I've had and then I found out they were also really looking for an intern in this specific area and we kind of together designed like what my activities would be from both sides, what they would need but also what I was interested in to learn and then yeah, I got in. <laughs> How did you actually come about this internship? Oh yeah, it's um, it's at the moment I got to speak with the, my supervisor here. I highlighted so many topics that I could work on and then I thought this is something that I would want to do. And that was the point I decided, uh, okay, I'm going to 510. And that was cool, I kept it at my, at my art. And during the summer, I compared what uh, I've done. This is how I can uh, contribute to what 510 is doing. So it was an open application that I made and then we discussed a bit further about what uh, particular assignment it would be. And uh, that was it, it was uh, now here today. In our study, we look at wicked problems. So it's, it's 
kind of explained as a complex problem that doesn't have one solution and you really need to like analyze it from multiple perspectives. And now at the Climate Center, this helped me a lot in sort of thinking about a problem in a holistic way and analyzing it using like different fields like meteorology, but also the health sector and engaging with different types of stakeholders, uh, which we also learned during our study throughout our case study projects. This is basically what we do the whole year. So that really helped me in my internship. Well, I took a short course during my electives in quarter four on DOLs, which introduced me to so many topics where you can work. Uh, this, this was really interesting and, uh, for me to understand these things. And it's really massively helped my background knowledge about cholera and about how I can extract the risk factors for such a disease. I haven't worked before at an organization, so for me it's really a first experience of working with a team, for example, of people who are experts on certain things, uh, doing a lot of meetings together. I mean, it's really different from a student environment where it's so much focused on the learning and not so much, you don't see like a direct result. But now I feel like, yeah, you, you do things and you see the result immediately and you hear what other people are doing. It's super fun. People do a lot and I'm always impressed to hear about what they do. I have friends uh, all over the world. I have a friend in the States uh, working on the feature detection. One friend, he helped the Dutch police uh, look at environmental crime. So for example, illegal waste disposal. I also have people who are, inter who are doing modeling with uh, a lot of hydrological statistics. And another friend of mine is doing his internship uh, looking at uh, helping urban planners design uh, green space throughout uh, the city of Paramaribo and Suriname. We have friends who are doing uh, crop detection, and people who are into ecology and uh, wildlife management. And another friend of mine, she is working with the University in Valencia to look at the risks of wildfire in Spain. So it's, it's quite a variety of options out there that uh, companies are looking at for students actively. I'm super happy, yeah, yeah. I really see myself continuing maybe with uh, this organization.